Well, you have likely seen these, but you might not realize just how critical sea urchins are to our coral reefs. And last year, so many of them were actually wiped out in the Caribbean and along our east coast here in Florida. But tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Balik Rankin explains how the cause of that uh, deadly outbreak was just discovered right here in Tampa Bay. Last year, the search began for what was killing sea urchins. They'd start to lose their spines, and in a matter of days, they'd die. Scientists didn't know why. That's when Maya Breitbart was asked to help. That was a very quick yes for me. Breitbart quickly assembled a team and got to work, researching, sampling, and data analyzing. What really stood out to us was a ciliate called the scuticociliate, and that's a known pathogen of marine organisms, and we only found it in the sick urchins. And so that was one of those very tantalizing, wow, this, this could be something right here. And it was the answer she'd been searching for. This single-celled organism was doing a lot of damage. That about 95 to 98% of the urchins at a given site died. You might wonder why these spiny invertebrates and this research is so important. So they're sort of the lawnmowers that keep the algae from overgrowing all the surfaces, and that way there's free spaces available for the corals to land and grow. Dr. Christina Kellogg was a part of the small research team. She's worked extensively on coral reef diseases. Being able to quickly treat this since it is still going on would allow us to preserve the urchins and try and maintain that balance in the reef. Breitbart tested if celiats were indeed the culprit. There were two groups of urchins. One group was exposed to celiats, the other was the control. As we were watching that process, we were collecting any spines that were dropped. And then as it became clear, the urchins were dying. And then for the controls, which remained healthy throughout the experiment. Not only are the research findings in solving this sea urchin mass mortality event impressive, the timeline in which they did it even more so. It took researchers just four months. It often takes years, decades, and sometimes never gets figured out what's behind these diseases. It's a big step in protecting our reefs by finding out what's hurting them. In St. Pete, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. And right now, research is being done to find ways to treat celiacs, which could be a huge deal in keeping our coral reefs healthy.